Welcome to this video. Today we're going to look at basic body structure. Now the first thing I want to point out about basic body structure is that the body is arranged in a series of cavities and the main organs of the body are located in those cavities. So just for a bit of revision, we know that the body is made out of cells and a group of similar cells we refer to as a tissue. Tissues are grouped together in a particular way in particular structures and generate limbs and organs. So what we're going to start off by looking at is the body cavities and then the organs which are in those body cavities. So body cavities, what we mean by a body cavity is simply spaces where organs are located. Spaces where organs are located. It's pretty obvious, really, if you're going to have organs, you have to have somewhere to put them. And they're located in cavities inside the body. And the first one we're going to consider is the cranial cavity. Cranium means to do with the head. So the cranial cavity is located in the head. And that is the space inside the skull. So all of the space inside the skull in here is the cranial cavity. And the cranial cavity located inside the head. Moving further down the body, the next cavity down is the thoracic cavity. And the thoracic cavity is the space inside the chest. So thorax means chest. And this is all the space that is inside the ribs to the front. So all this space inside here is the thoracic cavity. And in life, the thoracic organs are located inside this cavity. And if we look at it maybe from the back as well, again, we can see that the ribs are enclosing a space in the vertebral column. Everything inside this area here is the thorax the thoracic cavity or the chest cavity. Now separating the thoracic cavity above and the abdominal cavity below, we have the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a dome of muscle. Its main function is to facilitate respiration, to facilitate breathing, but it also separates the thoracic cavity above from the abdominal cavity below. And the abdominal cavity is the tummy area. So anything below the ribs, you can feel your ribs there, they're called the costal margins, the lower costal margins, and down to about here is, is, is the abdomen. And again, if we can see that on the skeleton, so the abdomen would start underneath the diaphragm here, which is a dome-shaped sheet of muscle. Down to about here, this would all be abdominal cavity in life. And you see, this isn't really surrounded by bones, although there, are, there is the, um, th the, th the uh, vertebral column, the lumbar vertebrae here at the back. But in life, this is surrounded by sheets of muscle, which comprise the wall of the abdominal cavity. So... Thoracic cavity, diaphragm in between, abdominal cavity, the tummy below that. And then finally, at the bottom of the, uh, the trunk, the middle part of the body, the pelvic cavity. And the pelvic cavity is this area here inside the pelvis. The, the, these, these, this is the pelvis, this bone here. And the pubic bones at the front. The uh, pelvic organs located inside the pelvic cavity here. And to the back, we have the, uh, this little bit here at the bottom is called the coccyx and the sacral vertebrae here, to the back of the pelvic cavity. So, the four main cavities 
of the body. Let's have a look at this on another diagram here. So cranial cavity here in the head, space inside the head. And uh, I've actually on this diagram I've included the vertebral canal because spinal cord runs down here, stops about here actually, but all the way down here is a continuous, uh, continuous structure, there's fluid inside called the cerebrospinal fluid. So I've included this as a, as a separate cavity on this diagram, the vertebral canal, containing the spinal cord, the membranes that protect the spinal cord called the meninges, cerebrospinal fluid, and lower down it also contains uh, quite a few nerves. And of course the main structure in here is composed of nervous tissue. The thoracic cavity or the chest, this area here, chest cavity or the thoracic cavity. Further down the abdominal cavity, vertebrae at the back, abdominal wall muscle the front and then at the bottom here the uh, pelvic cavity just at the bottom of the uh, underneath the abdominal cavity so the four main cavities of the body five if you include the vertebral canal Now for the next part of this introduction, what we're going to do is actually draw on some of the major organs onto a body outline. So I prepared myself a body outline. I want you to look at it and prepare one yourself. And then as I draw on a structure, you can draw the structure on it as well. So just a basic body outline, something like this. It doesn't have to be very uh, artistically accurate. Just a basic body outline. And uh, you might be able to see there, I've drawn some organs up and down the right-hand side. Written some out there. And all I'm going to do is try and draw on these organs that I've listed. And what I'm going to try and do is put them in the right place, something like the right shape, and approx very, very approximately to scale. So let's have a go at that now. We'll start off with the brain. That's nice and easy because that's located in the cranial cavity. Basically, it's in two hemispheres, like this. So the brain there in the cranial cavity. And what I've really drawn here is the top part of the brain called the cerebrum. So the brain Actually, quite interesting. It's pretty obvious we know the brain is in the uh, in the cranial cavity, and we know the mind. Well, we believe the mind is generated by the brain, but other cultures haven't realised this. The Greeks, for example, thought the mind was in the diaphragm. So maybe it's not as obvious as, as uh, it might at first appear. Now, I'm not going to draw the spinal cord on. We know it goes up and down there because we've seen that quite clearly on the original. Sorry, on the previous diagram. So we'll leave that one off. Now, what I'm just going to do here is draw myself a, di a diaphragm. And the diaphragm domes up like this. It's a dome-shaped sheet of muscle. So I've just drawn myself on a, a diaphragm there. 